Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, March 28th. I'm Sean Humphrey, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Professional photographer Jennifer Gutowski will be speaking to the Photography Club this Friday from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. in Mr. Finch's room. High school student government is announcing the Coach Jason Whitworth Scholarship, a one-time $1,500 award for one graduating senior at West Shore. Criteria and time frames for submission are in the application packet, which can be picked up in the guidance office. Applications must be submitted to Mrs. Strauch no later than April 8th. The award will be presented at the high school award ceremony on April 16th. The Brevard Zoo will be holding its annual Youth Environmental Summit this year on July 27th to promote environmental awareness and inspire conservation efforts. Applications to participate in this event can be found on the Brevard Zoo's website. Both middle school and high school students are encouraged to attend. Now to Zach Shazad with a story on the safety precautions being added over the causeway. State Road A1A will soon receive 18 push-button flashing crosswalk beacons from Satellite Beach to Indian Atlantic. Some students view the devices as dangerous safety hazards. It could be unsafe because a lot of people would be on their phones and so like they might either hit someone or hit the car in front of them if the car stops really fast. So having these crosswalks would uh, slow traffic down like after school and everything because there's so many cars and so many of the students uh, have places to be after school and would cause problems. Brevard County Clerk of Court Scott Ellis told Florida Today that he doesn't believe a car will stop for a pedestrian just because there is a crosswalk there. This has been Zach Shazad reporting for WCTC News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTC News. This has been Sean Humphrey, and have a wonderful day, Wildcats.